New York's Dirt Candy is a restaurant specializing in fancy vegetarian cuisine. How is everything? While customers may come here for the unique dishes, by law, the chefs can't share in the wait staff's tips. Low kitchen pay was making it hard for owner Amanda Cohen to find and keep good chefs until she decided to do away with tipping altogether. The only way I know how to keep a cook is to pay them more. At my much smaller restaurant, uh, my front of house made a lot of money, but they were really helped by the back of house staff. My cooks actually helped serve. The restaurant now charges a 20% administrative fee in place of a tip, with the extra money going towards salaries. Wait staff may sometimes make less money than they used to at $25 an hour, but they like having a predictable income. The biggest difference is now it's consistent every single day, which is kind of nice because you can count on that. A profit sharing plan helps sweeten the deal. The restaurant Dirt Candy is one of the first in New York to do away with tipping, but other restaurants are now following suit. This change comes amid a nationwide push to increase the federal minimum wage for fast food workers from its current $7.25 an hour to $15 an hour. But tipped workers make an even lower minimum wage of just $2.13 an hour. And while servers in big fancy restaurants can pocket hundreds of dollars a shift in tips, the Restaurant Opportunity Center says the national average is less than $9 an hour. You're very welcome. Just two tiers tip minimum wage, we want it just to disappear and have one, one minimum wage like everybody else. You know, when you go to the doctor, you don't tip them. When you go to pharmacies or anywhere in the country or it, to do any service, you, you know, you don't tip. Celebrity chef Danny Meyer recently right. announced a no tipping right. policy right. at Thank his you. 13 restaurants. Two out two. But the National Restaurant Association says most restaurants are worried about raising prices. I mean, even though customers at Dirt Candy found it easier to have the tip incorporated into the bill. I think it takes a lot of pressure off of the customers, and I think it's a wave of the future. It's going to be good. Still, it may take a while before other restaurants decide to take tipping off the menu. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.